And hello everyone, my name is Vlad A4, Glent Kobikov. And guys, oh look what you've done, just look at this. It's a school uniform guys, yes, subscribers. You sent us back to school again, why you? Once we made a video, went back to school for a day, and you gathered 3 million likes under it. So what did A4 production do? Look, they gave us a form, handed out textbooks and sent us off to school. So what's in store for us today? A new teacher, new subjects, probably new knowledge. Black paper, what are we yelling about? What are we doing? Time to shoot videos, challenges. And why not? No, no, quickly to class. Kobikov, quickly to class. I'm actually Kobikov. Never mind to class. Uh, hey, my bunnies, what's valued on YouTube over there? Real hardcore stuff, challenges. Do you like it when they bully your favorites? All of this will happen today. I'll show these fools how to study in school. What's our first lesson on the schedule? Geography. Back to school for one day challenge, let's go. Sit in the front Back off, deck. I'll be sitting in the second row. Back At off. At least sit on this side. No, I'll sit here, back off. All right, who is still standing? We cannot proceed. Paper, Glenn to the front row, Kobikov to the second. Take your seats, we're starting the geography lesson. All right, Vlad Bumaga, come up to the board. What's the paper? What do you mean? To the board. <sighs> Name a city with more residents than subscribers on the A4 channel. Um, well, Russia! Russia is a country, not a city. <sighs> well, Moscow. And in Moscow, just 12 million. Mm, I don't know. May I, may I, I was prepared. Let's go. There is only one city in the world with a population larger than the subscribers of the A4 channel. This is Tokyo. It has 34 million residents. Well done, Glenn. I'll keep that in mind when grading paper very bad. Just imagine. We used to compete with bloggers. Now it's whole cities. And we have only one city left to overtake. Tokyo. Press the red subscribe button below this video and let's overtake Tokyo. We'll definitely make it. Kobikov, a city starting with P. Uh, Beijing. Good job. Now your geography assignment is to draw a world landmark and label it with its name quickly. Good thing I have an A and PE, so I can draw a triangle. Let's go. We're doing... Well, that's Egypt for you. Still Egypt, as it is called, an attraction. Pyramid. What pyramid? A wonder of the You're world. You're the world wonder yourself. Pyramid of Cheops, paper, well, two, two. That's how it should have been. Didn't draw another. The third pyramid in the camel. Guys, I missed the assignment. We had to name a landmark, not a country. I would have drawn the Statue of Liberty better. Glenn Kobikov, why are we sitting? Were there any markers? I don't remember what she looks like at all. And what was she holding in her hands? Wow, this is America. America, no, couldn't hold the burgers. I'll draw the earth. All set on my end. Okay, let's compare now. Right, well, it's fine. Just forgot about the second floor, but it's okay. I tried. Title? Eiffel Tower. Where? Here. In Paris? Yes. Well done. I'm ready too. Okay, let's compare. What do you think? What is she holding in her hand? I don't know. This is a plaque that has the date the Declaration of Independence of the United States was adopted written on it. What about you? A bowl of soup. Take a seat. Kinda hurts. I actually did pretty well. Well, for our last task today, your favorite puzzles. Kobukov to the board. Me? I can't solve puzzles at all. Take the bottom one, the left one on the right. I'll hit you on the head. All right, all right. Guitar. <laughs> Remove the first letter. Remove the last two letters. What's next for us, the fox? Turns out Italy. Done, Italy. Well done. May I? Next paper, come on. Thanks, I managed to quickly solve this puzzle, so I wanted to immediately tackle it. Anyway, T. Stop, I was mistaken. I thought T. T is a Russian word, and I had T, so I kind of had like Tahiti. That was dumb of me. Help. Shush, hush. T, 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 and T, and 
Rate it too. Subscribers, if there's a genius among you, solve this puzzle. Comment below. Rate it too. I'm clueless. <sighs> Next. While sitting at the desk, I figured something out. We have the letter K and we have the letter A. Canada, Canada. Good job, paper, come on, give me another one. What? <sighs> okay, basically, I think I know how these puzzles work. But why is the crocodile upside down? <laughs> so look, it's either a crocodile or Gina. But for now, I'll write crocodile. A crocodile and a rooster. Cross out the last two here, cross out the first two here. Crocodiliped. All right, let's try with Gina. Gina, two letters. Ready, set, go! <laughs> may I, may I? Funny. Maybe an inverted crocodile. The inverted crocodile Gina and a rooster. Put down two. We've heard this before. Kobe Kov, help out. I'm not really sure I can do it. So, Egypt, Egypt. What? Look, Gina upside down reads backwards. Aneg, remove the first two letters. Receive E-H, E-H-I, rooster without the last two letters. Sit down! Well done, Kobikov, come out, come out, let's go. I'm a puzzle master, loved them as a kid. It's all easy here. We have Masha who needs to be flipped and written in reverse. Remove the first and last letter. We end up with Sha. Inside the letter L, there are soft signs. It turns into Lee. And what do we get? Polish, uh, Poland, Poland. Kobiko. Hey, getting up is getting hard. What a day, huh? Such a teacher. Kobiko. Mm -hmm. Glent. Uh, oh, paper. All right, next lesson. Getting ready for Russian language. Well then, let's check your knowledge of the Russian language. Glent to the board. We shouldn't have any problems with Russian after all. We do speak it. So, our task, I'll say a word and you have to write it on the board without any mistakes. Finally a five. So, the first word, lobby. So what does that even mean? Lobby? What's so funny? I don't know how to spell it myself, but it seems like you made a mistake. Just this word already smells like mistakes. All right, I'll try to fix it. Done. Mm -hmm. Well done. All right. The next word is hang glider. <laughs> hang glider, hang glider. Is a hang glider something that flies? Hang glider, is this Russian at all or not? Hang glider, I did it. <sighs> The word camera. Well, that's easy. If I make a mistake now, that's it. Game over. Photo, 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 camera. Well, if anything, I'm not shooting on a camera, but on a video camera. Correct. Yes. Okay, next paper. So, what's my word? Your word is binoculars. Yes, yes, binoculars or binoculars, probably binoculars. Unfortunately, no. Biano. What? Uh, Biano. Uh, there is no such letter here. Well, at least you'll know. The next word is manipulation. Manipulation. Well done. Next word, acorn. Oh, or yo. There is one last name that is written with a letter. Excellent, all correct. Oh, your last word. Three each. Is it really that hard for you to do the fourth one? Show us how knowledgeable you are. Your turn, debate. Maybe Kobakov is better versed in this topic? No, Kobakov will have his say. Debates? Debates. Debates, debates. Brilliant, let's give a round of applause. Take a seat, Kobiakov. Now, show your brilliance and speed, Kobiakov, with intellect and quickness. <sighs> So, your word, ballot. Well, guys, help out. <clears throat> I'm actually here. B, B, what's the second letter? U, E, I. Oh, Kobikov, Kobikov. 
boo, here are two L's and here's an E. That makes three mistakes. The next word is cardinal. Cardinal? What are you hard of hearing? A cardinal choice, a cardinal change. Guys, why were your words so light? Well, you managed. You only managed to coordinate, I don't know, cardinal, and that's it. Darn. You need to study Kobikov, study linoleum, write it down. What are you laughing at? So, linoleum. You guessed wrong, linoleum. Linoleum. Eh. Sit down, Kobikov. I have problems with the Russian language. So let's open our notebook and write down today's date. Zenaida Stepanovna, we need three strong boys. Some books have been delivered. They need to be moved. Is that okay? Can do. Well, if I have nothing else to do, I'll write their homework for the whole quarter. <laughs> All right, lads, here are the books. Carry them quickly to the classroom and I'll head to the staff room. Whoever carries the most gets an A. You skip PE anyway. Might as well get some exercise. An A in physical education. I propose a challenge. Who can bring these books faster? Let's go. Cool idea. And if we break the window, shall we blame it on the PE teacher? <laughs> wow, they do weigh a lot. Kobikov has put on a ton. He won't carry that much. Give me a couple of mathies. No. <laughs> on your marks. Attention. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Kobikov. Boys, I didn't drop a single one. Woohoo! And I scratched my forehead with a book. Well, let's count. Kobe cough, you rat. You had 15 more books so than this. Come on. How much? How much? No, you go ahead. Well, no. you Kobe cough. I am 51. What about you? 402 books. Okay, okay, 42 books. Also 51. Who will pick up the book from the floor faster? Quick, quick, quick! Me! <laughs> and you manage Kobakov. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, Kobyakov, the books needed to be carried over so they would stand. Glant, let's just tell physics I'm better. You'll help me out. Oh, seriously, look, a book fell. No, but really. Guys, well. I won! That's not fair. Witness. Thanks for the competition. Yes, Kobyakov, and pick up the books from the floor or the gym teacher will be punished. That's not fair. And pick those up in the hallway too. Seriously, you've scattered everything. Today's math lesson topic is fractions and percentages. Glant at the board. Come on, Glant. First task. Out of 20 rounds in Brawl Stars, Glant won eight. Hey, but why only eight? Am I a loser? What are these words? Sorry, you just have some offensive tasks. Repeating, out of 20 rounds of Brawl Stars, Glent won eight. What percentage of rounds did Glent win? Oh, oh, oh. So I have an idea on how to solve this. Usually I count 50% of the total number. 50% that is half of 20 equals 10. That means it's 50% half. So one point like that will be 5%. And now we multiply five by eight. All in all, I won 40% of the games. I explained it slightly differently, but you solved it. Good. All right, all right. And the next task for us will be for Kobikov. All right. In the challenges, Kobikov won $5,000 and spent 3,800 out of it. What fraction of the total price did you spend? I don't know how to solve this. Kobikov, do fractions mean nothing to you? I repeat the question, what part of all the winnings did you spend? Well, in theory, you need to divide 3,800 by 5,000. Simplify all that. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to solve this. Ah, Kobikov, you were on the right track, so close. We cut down the zeros and we get 38.50 and we reduce by another two and get 19.25. Darn. Sit down, paper, and here's a task for you. The A4 channel video was viewed by 20 million people. 43% of them were not subscribed. How many people watched the video without subscribing? I keep this topic in mind every day. 
This is 100%. Need to find out about X people. 8,600,000 without a subscription. Can you imagine? Yes, it's a dire situation. Got any solutions? Well, such math. Look, in this example, it's easy to count from 10 million. 43% is 4,300,000 times 2 equals 8,600. Yes, you're having a hard time with fractions. So we'll learn by doing. Are we going to eat cake? Yes, just math first. So the first task, cut the cake into nine parts. Clint, go ahead and cut it. Okay, two, four. 360 divided by nine. I get it, up to 104 degrees, but exactly 104 degrees. Won't these be equal parts? I'm taking the protractor and heading to the cake. Okay, let's do this. This is the center, right? Angle 40 degrees, like this. Beyond 80. Okay, so everything's set, guys. We did it. Ooh. Zenaida Stepanovna is ready. Well done. You did great. Now you can eat the cake. Mm. Nah, she's a cool teacher, guys. Agreed. Hey, how about cleaning up the desk? Your desk. Zenaida Stepanovna. And I didn't get any cake, so I'm not cleaning anything. All right, put the phones away. Your literature lesson task is to collect portraits of famous writers, name them, and mention at least one work. A well-known work. Can't use Google, right? Which Google? Your brain. I'm ready to start. Come on, Kobikov, please. So what? So... This is Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin. Wonderful, a masterpiece. Cadillac mozzarella. <laughs> Right, right, I'll remember now. So, well, this, well, a golden chain on an oak tree. I can't recall the name. An oak is an oak indeed, along with the wedge. Isn't that right, Kobikov? What do you call that? Can anyone tell me, Glenn? This is a fairy tale about a cat with a chain. What paper? What masterpiece is this? I know another work. It's called Love. Do you think every great Russian writer has a work titled Love? Well, yes. Oh, no, this is not who wants to be a millionaire. Knowledge is required here. The captain's daughter, Eugene Onegin, Ruslan, and Ludmila, sit down, Kobikov. Ah, well, paper next. So the hand. <gasps> Guys, I think I remember some work after all. Here's another layer. So Leo Tolstoy. War and Peace. Well done, Paper. I'll give you credit for that. Well, Glenn, now it's your turn. I don't know anyone at all. Um, Vysotsky. Mm -hmm. What a Vysotsky you are. Then Mayakovsky. Okay, the work... Um, Friend. Another one. Taking an example straight out of books, huh? About love, about friendship. Honestly, I didn't read it, don't know. Let's help him. Kobikov, what did Mayakovsky write? Uh, there's a cloud in pants. God, such deep insights. <laughs> How your buddy helped you. Have a seat, it's embarrassing, guys. You need to read. So now the next task. Zenaida Stepanovna, Zenaida Stepanovna. What? 15 minutes until the end of the lesson, it's already time to go on duty. So you, Kobikov, just want to escape from lessons anywhere, right? So Bumaga, Glent, go on duty. And with you, Kobikov, we will read Pushkin. <laughs> and no running! The cafeteria is awesome. They let us go 15 minutes early, but there's only enough food for three people. Hey, maybe we should have picked up our textbooks after gym after all. Don't worry. You'll say that Kobakov... Of course, Kobyakov did just oh, that. Oh, right. So what do we have here? School tea! This is my favorite dish. Here, when they add sugar, for some reason, it immediately smells so like sugar. So what's for today? Patties with pasta, wow! Hey, can you eat a lemon without making a face? I can even eat two pieces. No, I can do it too. Wanna bet I can eat a lemon easily? Wanna bet I can eat it too without making a face? Let's go! What for? Loser gets a kick. One, two, three. Wow. 
so it was eaten? Mm-hmm. Nobody won. No one. But you should have added lemon to the tea. I was just thinking the same thing. Darn, Kobikov is complaining about us and we're gonna fail. Hey, what if we add a cucumber to the tea? What's up? Why? Well, let's say Kobikov. It's a new trend, seen on TikTok. Well, if it's on TikTok, he'll definitely believe Especially it. Especially cucumbers. Well, a cool thing. Some even put them on their eyes. Come on, pour it. <laughs> the higher you can raise the spray, the cooler the cook. Let's go. Yeah, that's a solid one with experience. Oh. Tea with cucumber is a cool thing. I think Kobikov will like I it. I really hope so. Five minutes left. Let's cover. So I tell him, don't buy bundles in Call of Duty. Just earn them. Level up the end. Definitely don't donate there. Ooh. Guys, I almost died by the time this lesson ended. It was just impossible to sit through. And you sing along. Cucumber and tea? Yeah, you're not aware. It's the new trend. What's the trend? Are you trying to deceive me? How long have you not been to school? Cucumbers are healthy. No idea where you found these trends. Yes, drink. It's tasty. Great. And I believe that you can't play Call of Duty at all without a microphone. Guys, where did the trend with the cucumber come from? Um... From TikTok. TikTok. Seriously? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Didn't know, didn't know. The trend, by the way, recently appeared. Maybe you could shoot some videos there. We'll watch, you say. No, I know. Mm. Refreshing. Hello, children. Today in our English lesson, we'll start with the game English Crocodile. So I won't explain the rules. You know them all. Each of you will now go and draw a card. Is that clear? Yes. Understand? Kobikov, come here. Please answer in English only. Okay. Don't look here. Window. Open. Here, here, home. Uh, three, three, a Christmas tree, right? Oh, gift, gift, present, right? Yes, this is a gift. There were gifts on Steam. Next, please. Prize sector on the wheel. La, 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 hmm. Nothing? Nothing? <laughs> How did you guess? I don't know. Glenn, do you get what I'm saying? You know? My turn now. Okay. Oh my god. Bird, hummingbird, penguin. Uh, small? Small. Butterfly. Yes, yes. Book. I'm reading a book. You stupid. What? I'm reading a book. I'm not reading a book. Class. Everything. Uh, class. Library. School. School. Yes, this is a school. Yes. Well, your English is significantly better than your Russian, so get ready for hard work. Today in our crafts class, we'll be cutting out paper snowflakes, and I've brought these samples for you. I'm really hoping to see something similar by the end of the lesson. Snowflakes are easy. I disagree, Glenn. Basically, just read the book. Our book includes a lesson on how to make paper snowflakes. It seems to be done somewhat like this. First, the corners are folded. It seems this thingy is trimmed. And then we start creating art. Something's not working, guys. How did you do it? I can't cut out snowflakes at all and just rely on my school experience. All right, my snowflake is ready. But this looks better than the first one. That's it, I'll wait for the class to end. A few moments later. Ha! Loser! Let's see what I've got. So. Whoa. Snowflake. Somehow I managed to cut out a snowflake. Everything was done by the book. I hope it turned out well. Well, listen, well, snowflake. Hmm? Uh, is this a Deadpool mask or what? Tell me, what's a person's IQ if they think this is a Deadpool mask? Write in the comments. Zenaida Stepanovna, we are ready. Showing. Well, not what I expected, but we'll decorate the class, eh? So, now I'm grading the work, and you can pick up your journals. It's 
So, what's up with the ratings? What's up with geography? Three. I gotta be. What's up with you? Geography, five points. Well done. I have a B in Russian. Grade two. One. <laughs> Losers, math, five. Five. I have four. All right, literature is a four. Four. I have three. English, A. And I have five. And I have five. Good job, guys. Hard work. I have four. Five. Followers, you judge. What's our grade in labor studies on a five point scale? Leave a rating in the comments. All right. Getting ready for chemistry. Hold on, how much longer? It's already half past seven. Let's move on to the next video. Okay, we'll move it to next time then. All right, let's go home. Guys, does she not know that the next lesson will only be for two million likes and the subscribers won't make it? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, what hit like? Всем забыли, как летает моя...